to begin the iterative design process that we talked about earlier, you'll first need to bring your files into a project in Abstract. I'd like to clarify the difference between projects in Abstract and projects at your company, as these may not have the same definition. When you think about projects in your personal or work life, these are usually initiatives that have an event which kicks them off and a clearly defined result or deliverable that signifies their ending. An example of a work project could be research and create a user journey map or complete a client project based on a client timeline. Based on the activities involved, you'll know when you've started this project and when it is complete. When we say a project in abstract, we're referring to a group of items, in this case files, that when combined make up a body of work. An example of a project in abstract might be marketing website, and it would include all of the design files that contribute to the production of your company's marketing website, as well as any commentary, context, explorations, history, and documentation, even as it evolves over time. In this section, we're going to take a look at projects in abstract, which provide the primary way that you'll organize design work. You will learn how to organize your design files in a way that is deliberate, scalable, and intuitive for your team, and how to include the documentation to add context around your design files.